mother, boyfriend found guilty of murder in death of disabled 13-year-old left in hot car. Walterboro, four years after a 13-year-old girl with disabilities died in a hot car, a Colton County jury convicted her mother and the mother's boyfriend of murder sept. 1. Finding that the pair showed a reckless disregard for the child's life when they left her in a car for hours under a South Carolina summer sun. The teen, Christina Pangalangan, died of heatstroke on August 5, 2019, inside a Volkswagen parked outside a residence on Lowcountry Highway in Colton County. She was left in the car for 5 hours and 41 minutes after Rita Pangalangan and her then-boyfriend, Larry Eugene King Jr placed the teen in the backseat while, according to the prosecutor, they were high on methamphetamine. Christina suffered from cerebral palsy, which rendered her speechless and confined to a wheelchair. Her condition prevented her from opening the car door or shouting out for help. But the 13-year-old, who enjoyed watching cartoons and being in a swimming pool, could feel emotions, ranging from happiness to pain. Jurors, after deliberating for almost two and a half hours, convicted the pair of murder and unlawful conduct toward a child. Circuit Judge Clifton Newman sentenced the mother to 37 years in prison. He sentenced King to 32 years. Murder in South Carolina carries a mandatory minimum penalty of 30 years in prison. It's not a traditional murder, Newman said before handing down his sentence. It's not, you pull a gun and shoot someone in the head. But your conduct was so extremely reckless that it constitutes a willful disregard for human life. And it constitutes murder. But that's not this situation, where there's absolute total disregard for a child. Considering that the two of you were there around the car any number of times without doing anything to save this child's life and contributing to the child's death. The five hours Christina baked inside the car were captured on King's home surveillance footage. 14th Circuit Solicitor Duffy Stone, who prosecuted the defendants himself, made the decision to present the entire footage to jurors. It began when King placed Christina inside the car outside his home at 11.15 a.m. and walked toward his porch. King had told Pangalangan to leave his home after he learned she had been unfaithful to him, he testified. But the mother did not leave. The pair spoke for an extended time. They later hugged, kissed and swung on a porch swing. All the while, Christina sat inside the car in the heat of a South Carolina summer. The mother checked on her daughter one hour later. She did not come back to the car again until 3 p.m. When she did, it was locked. Instead of breaking a window, Pangalangan and King left for nearly an hour to retrieve another pair of keys. When they returned, they found Christina dead. Both defendants asserted that they believed the car was turned on. The state pointed to the law in South Carolina that voluntary intoxication or drug use is not a legitimate legal defense. The murder conviction crystallized the downfall of a woman who was twice recognized as Colton County's Teacher of the Year. One of Rita Pangalangan's daughters, Elizabeth, testified that her mother was devoted to Christina and took on extra jobs to support the girl after her husband left. Rita helped Christina compete in a Special Olympics competition, took her to Disney and was saving up to buy her a wheelchair-accessible van. Oh my God! Oh my God! Pangalangan said, collapsing in a chair after the guilty verdict was read aloud. She mouthed, I love you, to her two daughters, who were seated behind her in the gallery. 